attention is focused on the decision of the top skater who will lead the Korean figure skating world. The Russian sports media Sport24 reported that Jun Hwan Cha, Korea, who won the first silver medal for Korean men at the 2023 World Championships, has terminated his coaching contract with Brian Orser. Revealing the famous scenes of the exhibition at once, and in the finale. According to the article, Cha Jun Hwan has dissolved his duo with Mr. Orser. Skating fans are shocked to hear this news. What the hell happened? Cha Jun who has been expected to be a treasure of the Korean figure skating world since his junior days, moved his training base to Toronto, Canada before the 2015-16 season, where he trained with Yuzuru Hanyu, Javier Fernandez, Spain, and the heroes of his home country. She sought guidance from Orser, who has trained many Olympic medalists such as Yuna Kim. The results soon bore fruit, and as he improved his grades in junior competitions, he also participated in the 2018 Pyeongchang Olympics held locally, 15th place. After moving to the senior stage, he won a bronze medal at the Grand Prix final. In 2022, he won the Four Continents Championships, his first ISU sanctioned title. At the Beijing Olympics in February of the same year, he finished fifth, which was the highest result for a Korean men's Olympics. He is a leader in the Korean figure skating world, and even at the 2026 Milan Cortina Dampazo Olympics, he was expected to make a big leap forward with Mr. Orser. Naturally, Mr. Orser seems disappointed with this decision. According to Sport24, Orser himself announced the termination of the partnership with Cha Jung-un. Before his former student Han Yu visited a Canadian cricket club this spring, he received a call from the player, saying he had decided to end his coaching contract. It is such a shame to lose the top skater I've worked with for 8 years. Who will be the new mentor for this talented athlete? He lamented. As Cha Jinwen's new coach candidates, the media has coached Beijing Olympic gold medalists Nathan Chen and Ilya Malinin, both American, who call themselves the quadruple god Rafael Eric Union and Shomu Uno. I've listed Stefan Lambiel as an option, but I'd like to recommend another interesting person. Kolokant Manaka, a famous Sendai confectionery that is difficult to obtain and has become a hot topic since Mr. Yuzuru Hanyu, chose it as a gift at a nice show. It was so popular that it was delicious. See the famous Sendai confection Kolokant Manaka, that was selected by Yuzuru Hanyu as a gift. Plenty of butter, strong salt, and the sweetness of Itsuki beans are delicious. Isni butter, gear and salt inside the Itsuki beans. At the end of May, Koalakant Kanoho no Manaka became a hit as soon as an article that Yuzuru Hanyu presented in Fantasy on Ice was published. As a Swiss lover, and from Sendai. I can't afford to miss it. Read the article online and immediately check the EC site Maze in Koalakant. Most of the items were sold out, but luckily I was able to order the items in a cosmetic box. The current purchase method is announced on the official website. Due to its popularity, only simple boxes are sold, as of June. After more than two weeks of waiting, it finally arrived at my house in a refrigerated flight. When I tried to hold back my enthusiasm and opened it, I found a box full of luxury with gold letters on a white background. A print of an ancient fish, the koalakanth, is included in the wrap. The simple and tasteful package will make you feel better. Izuki beans produced in Takachi are sandwiched with Izni butter from France, and Garin salt is used to make it stronger. In the cross section, you can see that plenty of butter is certainly sandwiched. And the taste is. It was the first time I had such a delicious manaka. The point is straight up bullish salt. After the salty taste, the sweetness catches up and you realize again, yes, this was in the middle. And the butter has a rich and pure taste clean and not persistent. The salt and butter bring out the sweetness of the Atsuki beans to the maximum, and this is the supreme sweet and salty taste. It's definitely a delicious time. The Zura Hanyu sense, I can only say as expected. It was written in the instructions enclosed in the box that it can be heated in an oven or toaster, so I tried warming it lightly with a toaster. This is it again crispy skin and juicy butter. It's good, so much that I can't help but talk to myself. I ate two in a row while growling. If you don't leave your family alone.